Hey everyone, what's up? Gary Simon here, of course, Cetro, and your task last week was to design a business card for a fictional freelance designer or for yourself or whatever. So we had a fair number of entries, around 41 or so, I uh, across 32 different users, not too bad. It ended three days ago, so now I have them all rated and you all should have received the email about that. And now I'm gonna go ahead and pick the winner. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to the screen. And this is the page where everything went down. Uh, I'm not gonna recap the information. You guys already know it, kind of pointless. Um, and so I have this uh, rated or sorted rather by the highest rating first. Okay, so once again, as in the other entries or the other competitions, when I go to judge and pick the winner, the person that's rated the highest will not always win. I don't think it's happened yet. So uh, it's just kind of like a general uh, gauge, but it's not concrete in terms of who won. So uh, looking at this real quickly, um, yeah, the top, uh, I would say about the top seven or eight, I'll go ahead and look at. Uh, and I'll just give my thoughts about these a little bit more specifically. This one, very solid. I, the colors all match up very well. I, uh, the type is pretty easy to read. I think maybe just, uh, it's a t maybe just the specializing in UI, print design, etc. My phone's going off. That's why you probably hear this weird noise. Um, is a little bit, uh, a little bit small, but that's okay. Jesus Christ. Be quiet. Okay. Uh, but yeah, in terms of layout, everything has a very good amount of white space. Everything is laid out. And uh, it has a really good alignment and consistency of alignment across all the elements. So if you just take a look at the icons, um, they're spread out all very evenly. They're all the same size. They're all the same color. Uh, the distance between this container here, as well as the icons themselves, all is very even. Uh, the distance between themselves and the distance between over here to the right of the text these are small details, but they can make or break a design. If you throw one of these elements off or push them over just by a few few pixels, you'll see that it it makes it look horrible. <laughs> so I, yeah, in terms of layout, everything's excellent here. Now the one downside to this is they did use an illustration that came from FreePix. So this is an 100% unique design. However, for a person who has almost no experience in design, it still laid it out very well. So thanks for that entry. Look at over here. This is a kind of a similar sort of layout, although the colors and everything quite different. Uh, but I like a lot. Um, the there's a lot of white space here between the uh, the logo design, which is this uh, this person's name, uh, and and this containing element right here. Uh, you know, it, it kind of goes against the trend, however, to have this, this soft shadow right here. But you know what? I'm not going to be nitpicky about that. Not everything has to be flat design. Um, and then, you know, all the same comments really about the layout here. Everything's laid out pretty well. So thanks for that entry. Uh, this one, you know, they took a unique uh, take on this one with a front and back as well as it being a vertical design. Uh, and they also obviously updated the, the mock-up template. That's okay. Um, looking at it, uh, obviously very minimalistic, uh, monochromatic. I, I liked it though. I, it, it really seems high class upscale, the silver here, not everything's necessarily white. Uh, the type is good. And I like a lot of the separation here. Uh, so this is a good design. So thanks for that. Over here, I like this as well. This is still sort of the uh, same type of layout as the first two up top. However, you know, we just have a, a slight different sort of artistic expression in terms of this containing element over here, um, which definitely fits for a freelance designer. So this speaks to me saying that this person's artistic or whatever. Now, the one negative about this is the size of the type right here. I uh, I know it's not really large on my screen. I could probably larger over here just so we could see it a little bit better, um, but it's still too small. Um, also, it's a little bit far too separated from uh, the actual icons over here. Uh, but that's the that would probably be the only downside to this design. I like the colors and everything else and the layout. 
All right, over here, this is a more unique approach, which is kind of what I was looking for, uh, for something, you know, a business card based on a designer. Uh, very simple. We have the little uh, window and the X right here, and the window title. Uh, so it's emulating, you know, like a graphic design application. Uh, and just very simple. There's not too much to judge it on because it's so simplistic. Uh, but it's still unique in, in, in this, this element right here. So it is effective. I like this one as well, a lot as well. And then I, uh, looking at this one, I, uh, again, pretty monochromatic and I'm not really too certain about the, the choice in picture here because <laughs> it, it looks like, huh? But I, uh, yeah, everything, I, I like this a lot uh, in terms of the lay, layout's perfect. The type is a perfect, easy to read size. Uh, the icons are all great as well. So good entry here. Uh, here, I like this design for what it is perfectly, but this person didn't, you know, use my template, which, you know, I guess, why, why, why would I really care? I, I wanted them to look, you know, on the, I wanted them to be presented on the same type of document, but not a big deal otherwise. Looking at it for the design itself though, I, excellent. I, you know, we have a lot of color in the back card design, and this is more of a, uh, a muted sort of monochromatic approach. Uh, we have a picture of the person's face cut in half. You know, I have no problem with that. That's kind of unique. It's a, it's a design, a unique design element rather. Uh, and yeah, everything is laid out here. You can see, you know, the type isn't too small. It's not too large. Uh, so yeah, I like this one a lot, but you can't win because you, you disobeyed uh, <laughs> one of the uh, requirements. And then right here, this is a, a good entry as well. Very simple, but you know, the color really works well, kind of makes it feel like material design in a sense, um, in terms of how the, 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 the same colors are, are, are complementing each other. Um, but yeah, very good entries. And that's all I'm going to review. Uh, so with that said, I probably would have picked this if this was like a custom element, but it's not. So that automatically will disqualify you. Perhaps I should put that in, in the future in the, uh, the contest description. Um, but having said that, I'm gonna choose this image here. It seems to be 100% unique. Uh, everything, you know, they, they use the template, everything's solid in terms of design and good design principles. So you are the winner. All right. So I uh, look out fairly uh, shortly for a new design challenge. I haven't really decided yet what that's going to be. Uh, but of course, I'll upload a video on the YouTube channel. You'll be able to find out, you know, exactly where that's going to take place uh, and what URL. But um, yeah, we've been, uh, aside from that, Viz and I, I, Viz has been very busy, you know, from Slide Nerd, in case uh, you don't know who he is. That's my partner at Corsetry.com. Been very busy on a couple other projects. However, in the works, I with Vivs very shortly, we're going to have a new course that's going to be based on creating a, an Android-based or Firebase chat app. Uh, so look out for that. I'm also working with his partner as well for a very similar course, except it's going to be for iOS. And then myself, I I've been really brushing up on the front-end development stuff and also getting into backend stuff as well. And so I'm focusing on Angular, Node, and I'm gonna be uh, creating tutorials, probably a ton of them based on these technologies and really kind of bringing the channel into, in, by the way, I may create a new channel, I'm not sure yet, um, but really focusing on full stack, development, which includes graphic design, of course, which we've done a ton here on the site, as well as front end and back end development. Uh, so yeah, exciting things are to come. But yeah, we're going to keep on doing these design challenges. So look out for that. All right, guys, I'll see you in a few days.